Hello and welcome to Grove Dodge. My name's Jasmine and today we're going to be looking at this 2017 Dodge Durango GT all-wheel drive in diamond black crystal pearl. Under the hood, she has a 3.6 liter engine pushing out 295 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds in torque. In the front here, we have your headlights, daytime running lights and signal lights and of course these fog lights down here at the bottom. Lots of tread left in these tires. They are Bridgestones mounted of a factory 20 inch rim. You have your painted and magic mirror door handles. Now your mirrors do defrost. You have your keyless entry. Nice chrome badging. Let me go grab the keys and I'll show you the inside. So on the key fob here, we have your unlock, lock, remote starts and panic. I'm gonna show you how that keyless entry works. You'll simply put the key in your pockets or your bag, run your finger over the handle here and the vehicle unlocks for you. It's a very handy feature to have. We have this gorgeous black leather seating. Now the driver's seat is powered and you do have your memory seating just located inside the door here. We have your power locks, windows and adjustable mirrors. Big compartment at the bottom of your cup holder. Let me just hop on in. We have your lights on the left hand side, windscreen wipers on the back of the steering wheel, paddle shifters just in case you wish to go into your manual transmission mode, your screen options, voice recognition, Bluetooth, and of course your cruise control. Now she is a push to button start, so I'll just go ahead and start her up for us. So we have your trash control, your ABS. We're currently sitting at 21,354 kilometers, so tons and tons of life left in her. But do speak to one of our finance managers about any extended warranty that you may wish to purchase, just to make sure that you are fully covered. We'll just flick through a few of the screen options here using these buttons on the steering wheel. Right now we're at your speedometer, your vehicle information, your fuel economy, trip A and B, your stop start, audio, stored messages, screen setup, and then we are back to that speedometer. If we go way up to the top here, we have the buttons for your sunroof as well as your three garage door openers. Just give you a peek at that gorgeous sunroof. And now you have a nice big touch screen giving you your AM, FM, satellite radio, your media options, your controls for your heated seats and heated steering wheel, your apps, navigation. You can turn the screen off if you wish to do so your phone, and of course, handy backup camera. A little bit further down here, we have your hazard lights, your dual climate control, your front and rear defrost, parking sensors on the rear, which you can turn off if you wish to do so, your stop start, you can also turn off econo mode, sport mode, and your trash control. Just located underneath here is your auxiliary, your USB and SD plug-in, as well as a 12 volt and you have a nice size center console with your DVD player. Stick with me and I will show you the rest. So you have that nice black leather seating throughout this vehicle, cargo net pockets at the back of the seat. Let me just hop on in and I'll show you some great features that she has. Located inside the ceiling here, we have your rear climate control. Located behind the center console is two USB plugins. Your heater seats perfect for our cold Alberta winters as well as your 150 watt plug-in. Now you have these amazing head DVD screens, which just pop out of the back of the seat, as well as on that passenger side. Perfect for keeping everyone entertained. Now the seating is a 60-40 split, the driver's side being the 60, it just means this seat and the middle one flip up as one piece. Lever at the side here, you can simply squeeze that red tag, lift it up, and the whole seat pops up for you, making it super easy to get into that third row and giving you those two extra seats. And when you're done, she just simply clips back into place. Now coming around the back here, your rear parking sensors. These are just those little circles in the bumper here. They're gonna let you know if you're getting a little bit too close to anything. To open up the boot, there is a button on the inside of this handle here. You can simply squeeze that and open it up, giving you tons and tons of cargo space. But of course, if you did want some more, you can easily drop your third row seating into the ground. I personally love the Durangos. Lots of space. They're just perfect for everything. As well in the back here, this middle seat does fold down, just giving you those two extra cup holders. 
keyless entry on the passenger front, as well as your power locks, power windows, and of course that powered seat. So if you'd like to take this gorgeous Dodge Durango for a test drive, we're located at 200 St. Matthews Avenue in Spruce Grove, Alberta, and hopefully we see you soon. Take care.